is the Rangers 57 inch ultra compact and lightweight aluminum tripod. And that's the actual name of the tripod. There's no actual model number. It's just the description of the tripod is the name. And I mean, this thing blew my yeah. mind for how good it is for the price range that it's at. And this retail is around $70, but I got mine on sale for 56 bucks. So definitely keep an eye out on that. It's such a good price for what you get out of this tripod. And let me tell you why. First off, the aluminum itself is actually aluminum. When I use other tripods, it's flimsy. It doesn't stay. It, it's when I put my camera on it, it I feel like it's gonna break at any point this the reason I like this so much is because of the lock mechanism that they included here and to be honest the aluminum that they say they made actually feels like good aluminum good quality aluminum the I mean if I can pull this out in and out it's just you know we're, we're going you know, I mean it's smooth as butter now I use this as a travel tripod so weight is very important to me and honestly the weight for this tripod isn't that bad it's just under three pounds and uh, when you're putting this in the back of your backpack, which yes, it does fit, um, honestly, I don't really even notice it. Amongst other things in my backpack, like lenses, cameras, you know, I bring two cameras sometimes with me, adding a tripod on the side pocket doesn't really add that much weight, and it's honestly not uncomfortable for me to just bring along with me on my trip. As a reference, I took this to New York City for about four days, and I was walking the whole entire time, and honestly, I didn't feel that tired with it on, and I couldn't really even notice the difference between putting it off my backpack and putting it back on. And in terms of how much it can actually hold, it says 26 and a half pounds, which is more than enough for me, to be honest. If you're using just a similar setup, you'll be fine with any camera lens combo. I use pretty heavy lenses. I use a Sigma and it weighs a ton. And uh, I put a mic on top of it too. And honestly, I've, I haven't had any issue um, dealing with the weight. It, the, the actual lock head fits perfectly fine. It stays where it's at and honestly, no complaints. From me. Now one of the cool things they added is an angle adjust system on the tripod legs so you can get really down low shots and I've used this a ton and it was really handy and I'm glad to see that they put it in this tripod. Now I did have a complaint with the tripod and it's probably the only one that I have. It's this head right here and it seems to be getting undone way more often than I'd like. And uh, when I move the tripod, like if I try to move my camera left and right, it sometimes gets undone and it gets kind of annoying having to deal with it often. However, I've seen this in other tripods before and there's really, there's really no way around that. You just have to really tighten it pretty well. And sometimes I'm too lazy to do it. And I wish they actually spent a little bit more time making sure that it is sturdy enough like the rest of the tripod, but it's a small complaint if any. Now the part that blew my mind about this tripod was this right here, this gold leg right here. This actually comes undone and you can turn it into a monopod. That's crazy. So how that works is you just take the top part off and then you just screw it in. Now that's pretty crazy that you can get a monopod and tripod combo for 70 bucks retail price, 56 if you get it on a sale. That is super cool. So not only do you get a tripod that you're paying for, but you're also getting a monopod that attaches to the tripod itself. That is, that, that's genius. Now there are other key features that I mean, every photographer should have, which this tripod does include. You can do vertical orientation photos with the ball lock. You can, there's a slot for it that you can put your camera in a vertical orientation if you want to. There's two green measurement circles so you can see if your camera is leveled. You also get a stylish tripod bag that comes with it. Uh, you get, you know, you have all the standard brand recognition. You have a super stylish red coated zipper. I could wear this as a purse if I wanted to. Just, you know, put it on there flex on it. You love it. So to wrap up, if you're looking for a travel tripod, this is hands down the best one that I've used and I've used a lot of tripods. This goes again for retail $70. I got it on sale for 56. I've used this for what a year now and I've never had any issues. Definitely a good recommendation. And if you're looking for a tripod that's under a hundred dollars, please go with this one. Super lightweight, super good quality and no complaints from me here, except that little ball head problem. That's about it. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton making these videos, hopefully every week. And uh, I will see you in the next one. See you.